Hi everyone, this is a joint work with Raquel Fuentetaja and Susana Fernandez. I'm Jose González Barroso and it's titled Planning Based Approach for Silent Proactive Assistance. Let's start the final simple domain. It consists of a grid with teleports and a goal position. Uh, there are two agents, supporter and prime. Supporter purpose is to assist a prime a agent to uh, achieve his goal at a lower cost. And to do that, it can activate just one teleport as origin, another teleport uh, as destination, I can teleport anything about the origin teleport to destination teleport. On the other hand, Prime can move between ISN cells and his purpose is to reach this goal and it's not aware uh, about the supporter uh, purpose. It is interesting in domains where uh, communication cannot take uh, can take place or in domains where uh, such communication uh, is preferable that doesn't take place. Let's now define the framework. Both agents act in a common environment in an interleaved way. That is supported execute first and uh, prime choose which action to uh, execute from the state reached by the supported action and so on. And prime always execute the first action of its optimal plan an operation when such a plan doesn't exist. That is uh, an action with no precondition and no effects. Uh, we have the following assumptions. First one, supporter knows Prime's planning task. Second one, supporter can compute the exact Prime's optimal plan from any state. And the last one, both agents can compute no operation. We want to solve the silent proactive assistance. It is defined by a tuple of a supporter action model that is a planning task with no defined goals and Prime's planning task. So our purpose is to find the sequence of actions that supported executes at every time step I, such that uh, the consecutive ac execution of the joint action in an interleaved way generates a state containing uh, Prime's goals. And the cost for Prime must be reduced with respect to the cost of its optimal plan if it was acting alone. Uh, also, the optimal solution to this problem is a solution that minimizes the cost for supporter among those solutions that also minimize the uh, prime's total cost. Our solution has the same structure. Firstly, supporter computes a new planning task. In this planning task, prime cost is prioritized over supporter, supporter cost. Secondly, we solve optimally that task. And from that plan, we obtain uh, the sequence of supported action and the estimation of the sequence of the prime actions. Supporter will plan from the current state if prime deviates from the estimation of the action of prime or if the entirely sequence of supported action has been completely executed and the goal has not been already reached. A prime always executes the first action of its optimal plan, but it doesn't mean that it always computes an optimal plan. It can reuse previous optimal plans. So prime will plan from the current state if supporters open as, opens an opportunity. Uh, that is, if supporters lacks executed action as added or deleted any precondition of any prime's action. Our two main approaches to build the planning task of the supporters reasoning process are BTA, a compilation based on, on turns, and CBO, compilation based on opportunities. BTA, a uh, compares a planning task uh, in a centralized way using turns. And CBO simulates current Prime's plan until an opportunity is detected. Here we can see the search tree of BTA. In the initial state, we have all applicable supported action from the initial state. After that, we have all applicable actions of Prime from the state reached by the uh, simulation of the uh, uh, supporter's action, and so on. Supporter uh, avoids uh, infinite loops, uh, preventing from executing, executing uh, an operation when the lax action executed by Prime in the real environment is also an operation. Uh, we have also a second version of BTA, that is BTA2, that is similar to BTA, but penalizing Prime's operation. Remember that Prime all, uh, only execute an operation when it is not able uh, to compute a plan that it uh, could happen uh, infrequently. Here we can see 
a example with the domain previously defined is it is the support selection so it computes the centralized uh, plan that could be the following it activates that teleport it moves the prime moves it's support selection so it activates this teleport primes wait note that there is an operation for prime here now uh, support teleport prime and prime go delete to the goals so from this central plan, supported executes the first action that is activate this teleport. Now it's prime turn, it computes its optimal plan and executes the first action that is moved to the right. Uh, in this case, this action uh, doesn't match with the action that supported thought that prime was going to do, that is, that was uh, moved to the south. So it replans and get the following centralized plan. Uh, that could be activities teleport, uh, move to the south, and so on. And execute the first action of this plan, that is activate this teleport. Now it's Prime's turn again. This action uh, has an open opportunity for Prime, so it can reuse previous uh, optimal plan and execute the next action. And supporter uh, fails again, and so on. At the end, Prime reached the goal with the same cost uh, without supported, but with a supported total cost uh, equal to 2. Let's see an example of ETA2. The centralized plan doesn't contain an operation for prime. Uh, it is more in line with reality than BTA. In the centralized plan, it activates this teleport, but it's not the teleport uh, where prime passes through. So in this case, uh, in BTA2 and in BTA, assistance has not been possible. Let's now see our main approach called CBO. Firstly, we compute Prime's optimal plan. With this optimal plan, we compute the planning task. This is the uh, search tree. We start in phase one. Uh, in supported turn, we have all applicable supported action from this uh, initial state. Uh, there are two types of supported action, those that open an opportunity, that is, that add or delete any precondition of any action of Prime, or uh, we have uh, those that uh, doesn't. We are going to suppose that AS1 doesn't open an opportunity for prime. So in prime's turn, uh, only uh, the corresponding action of the previously computed uh, prime optimal plan can be uh, simulated. Uh, we are going to suppose in the other case that the, uh, the supported action opens an opportunity for prime in this case, phase two is enabled from that moment on. And in Prime's turn, there are two options. First option is continuing with uh, this, uh, the simulation of the optimal plan, or we can uh, simulate any other uh, action for Prime. In that case, we pass to phase two, and only Prime's action can be simulated. Uh, supporter is inhibited. That is, uh, it always uh, simulates an operation. This is interesting because both agents doesn't cooperate with each other. And in phase one, uh, Prime's uh, actions uh, are uh, extracted from its original uh, optimal plan. And in phase two, uh, supported is inhibited. There are three possible types of optimal plans in CBO. First one, supporter opens an opportunity for Prime to prove its plan, as we have seen before. Second case, supporter achieves some Prime goals and phase 2 has not been reached. And the last one, no assistance. Plan, uh, CBO's plan is equivalent to Prime's plan with uh, supported operation interleaded. Let's see an example. We start computing Prime's optimal plan. With this Prime's optimal plan, we compute a planning task. With this planning task, we obtain the following optimal plan. Uh, we start in phase 1, it's supported turn, so uh, we simulate uh, this supported action. This supported action doesn't open opportunity for prime, so we simulate a uh, first option of, of its uh, optimal plan, that is move to the right, and so on. When supported teleport prime to this uh, teleport destination, phase 2 is enabled, we're still in phase uh, 1. Uh, in this case, the uh, supported can uh, deviate from its plan or continuing in phase 1. Uh, computing, uh, simulating its original uh, prime optimal plan, uh, but in this case it deviates and the simulated is uh, completely uh, uh, finished. 
if we simulate this uh, the sequence of supported action in this uh, in the environment, we can see uh, how the estimation of prime is exactly the same that the action that prime executes in the environment, and uh, a system uh, has been completely uh, successfully. Experiments. Uh, our main objectives were evaluate if the assistance occurs and evaluate the effectiveness of the assistance for reducing prime's cost, considering also supporter costs. Uh, our approach were BTA, BT2, CBO, and without assistance, that were our baseline. And we measure uh, the percentage problems uh, solved, the percentage problem where the assistance occurs, uh, the improvement ratio of prime's cost when assistance occurs, and supporter's cost when uh, assistance occurs. We have implemented four new domains from SCAT, Teleport Assistance 1 and 2 and Car System 1 and 2, and two domains based on uh, domains of the International Planning Competition, Visitol and Termes. This table shows the results. As we can see, CBO is not always the best, the best approach. Uh, in fact, in Teleport Assistance 2 and in Termes Assistant, is not a good option in comparison with the other two alternatives. To sum up, we have defined a planning-based approach based on open up opportunity for prime to profits plan. We have defined new domains for testing assistance. CBO achieved uh, effective assistance in some domains, but it could not be a good option in two cases. The first one, when the system requires to switch on several prime replanning. Remember that CBO only consider a single prime replan, with which we pass to phase two. It happens in terms of, in terms of assistance. And the second case, uh, when prime replans prematurely. It happens in teleport assistance too, but it could not be necessarily uh, an issue. In fact, in car system one and car system two, uh, support theory plans a lot of time and assistance is successful. Uh, future work is mainly focused on relaxing some of our strong assumptions. Thank you very much.